so you have a subdomain and you are wondering what's the right way to use Google Analytics to understand how people are moving between the main domain and the subdomain. Subdomains, love them or hate them, but we need them so we need to learn how to work with them. You really don't want to have two different Google Analytics properties to track your, your users because if you do that, then you totally have two disconnected boxes and it's impossible to understand how people go from one box to another and, and what happened in between, right? So the correct way to use Google Analytics when you have a subdomain is to use the same Google Analytics ID both in the main domain and in the subdomain. I'll make you an example. Here you have a domain, which is domain.com, and this domain has a subdomain, which is xyz.domain.com. Now, on those two domains, there are pages. So, of course, we have the, the home page, which is domain.com slash, and uh, the home page for the subdomain, which is xyz.domain.com slash. Then there are other pages and you see we have slash page one on the main domain and slash page one on the subdomain. Then we have two totally different pages. One is slash news and on the subdomain you have slash stories. In Google Analytics, if you don't make a view especially for dealing with subdomains, you get this. Both the home page of the domain and the home page of the subdomain are rendered in Google Analytics uh, with a slash. So when you look at your Google Analytics, you actually don't know if the numbers you see under this page are coming from the domain or the subdomain. And then you have it again every time that the URL of a page on the subdomain matches the URL of a page on the main domain. Okay, so this again rendered in the same way. You don't know if the traffic was coming from here or from here. If the pages have totally different uh, URL, then they are rendered differently. But you see here we have uh, six total pages and in Google Analytics, we are gonna find only four. So this is a major problem if you want to track uh, your traffic properly. So at this point, you'll be wondering, how do we fix this problem? Well, there is a very simple solution and all it takes is to create a new view in Google Analytics and just put a filter there. Now, I will say it again, in just in case you didn't get it, the subdomain and the main domain must use the same Google Analytics ID. For the love of God, please refrain from creating another property, another ID, for the subdomain. You don't need that. That would be a mistake because then you cannot join them together, all right? So same ID for the main domain and the subdomain. And now let's go in Google Analytics and see how to create the view and the filter. What you are seeing here is a, a website with a, a main domain and a subdomain here. So you see, this is the main domain, catus.eu. And here is the subdomain, which is tube.catos.eu, okay? So these uh, two different sections of the website, they use the same Google Analytic ID, and they will report to this uh, view here. So you see the URL here is not just slash, but it has the full domain. And here you see the full subdomain. So this is what we want to accomplish by creating a new view in Google Analytics. So if I click here, I can show you what is the end result. And the end result is that this property here has four different views. This is the raw one where all data is coming with no filters. Then I have the full URL, and then I have uh, two different views for each of the two subdomains that are on this domain, okay? So now I show you how this particular view is set up. To start your setup, you have to go here. So click on the gear and you go all the way to the end and create a view. 
you will create another one you write full URL in here you pick your reporting time zone and you click create view now I won't click it because I have it already so I click cancel once you're done with that you go on filters and you click and you will create a new filter which you will call again full URL so add the filter and you come to this page okay now I will instead open the filter that I already configured and I show you the configuration so you type full URL in the filter name then you pick custom and you go to advanced this part of the page will open up and you will pick from here host name then you write this exactly as you see it there is no space in the end there is no space in the beginning just bracket dot asterisk bracket then you have for the field B you have request URI again pick it from this list here and you have the same thing so bracket dot asterisk bracket and then again request URI and you write this thing you can see here again there is no space is all one word then make sure you tick this and this and then you click on save so you can go back and rewatch this part of the video but it's very very simple so once you save it you will have exactly what i have here a filter and then if you go back you have a view with this name and it's working already so if you go on real time and you click on overview you should see your traffic coming and you should see that the URL that you can read in uh, Google Analytics is now a full URL this way when you go in behavior site content all pages you will see all the pages with their full URL so we had uh, on this particular day we had uh, 146 page views on the main domain and only 55 on the subdomain you see all right this was subdomain tracking in google analytics i hope you liked it i hope you learned something and if you have some questions just drop them in the comments below the video but now it's time to learn some more so you may go watch the next video click here next